welcome to Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. Well, good evening. In tonight's episode, we're going to discuss uh, alternative to conventional tiling. Uh, I have got a 15 acres of pasture. It's one of our nicer pastures, but it is located in a, a low river basin uh, that has a tendency to flood pretty significantly in the spring or during very heavy rains. Uh, it dries off pretty late into the, into the spring because of uh, high river levels. And we've always talked about tiling it. Um, to me, I've always been a little concerned with tiling ground. I know a lot of opinions on it. But there's two issues that I recognize that are really significant. One is you lose your nutrients. They can get into the tile and wash away. Number two, and probably uh, more concerning to everybody, is the, uh, the nutrients, all the uh, getting into the tile, washing into the river, and ultimately destroying our rivers, lakes, and putting an excessive burden on water treatment plants. So we want to be very environmentally sound here at Pigeon River Farm. So we're looking at other options. One of the options we came up with um, is we've been using a deep tooth ripper, and I did a video in the past uh, demonstrating that. And a deep tooth ripper uh, to um, penetrate the ground to leave waterways down below. And uh, it's worked um, with mixed results. It isn't a uh, panacea. I mean, when you put tile in, you do a lot of disturbing of the ground, but respectively, you, uh, you have good drainage of the water. So I was talking to one of our uh, neighbor farmers that's uh, organic. They're a goat milking operation, uh, just a class A operation. And I was mentioning that we were thinking about maybe tiling this ground off. And he says, because the deep tooth, single tooth ripping isn't working real well. He said, well, that's because you're not doing it right. He says, you need to do is you need to put a chain uh, to the ripper. Um, so you're going to drag the chain underground and basically leave like a gopher hole. Um, think about how worms uh, penetrate the ground and it leaves a, a waterway for the water to go from the surface to the subsoil. Well, the same thing applies here. And he says, once you open a field up and a little bit of maintenance, uh, it's at a fraction of the cost of the tile, uh, literally no environmental risk. And he has done uh, a number of acreages that's had very good success with. So we have decided to apply that. And I, so I've been out uh, uh, pulling a deep tooth ripper. We modified one, uh, put a real heavy logging chain on it. And I'm pulling it at about Oh, two feet, 30 inches, about the same as I had done when I've uh, in the past. But with that extra chain, it does pull a lot harder. Uh, but it's interesting, it's just like you're putting a worm into the ground and then I'm, I'm adjusting the depth as I go from one end of the field to the other. So there's a natural pitch. Uh, I've uh, located it uh, so I know the approximate pitch and then I'm using a little bit of uh, finesse with the tractor itself uh, where I start out a little shallow and then I get deeper as I get closer to the riverside. We don't go right up to the river of course uh, and the goal is now to get the water to drain away. I've got standing water out there right now. I'm doing this when they're still, um, we're early, right now we're early or late fall, early winter uh, so we're coming up on Thanksgiving time. The ground is just starting to freeze so I'm taking advantage of the ground being uh, solid so I can get out into some of these wet areas. If I tried to do that when the ground was thawed, I would actually uh, destroy the soil. I could rot and actually maybe even get stuck. So it's a new method to us. Uh, it comes highly recommended and I've seen the soil, the ground that uh, he did it on and it's all dry. It worked, it worked really well. So we won't really know till spring, but it's, uh, it's recommended. By, uh, said by a neighbor. I've now implemented it and I would uh, say that we'll stay tuned. We'll let you know how it goes, but here's a demonstration if you've been watching a video of how we implement it. Well, I thank you very much and have a most wonderful evening.